Learn about the top 10 security features and protective measures implemented on Air Force One, the official aircraft of the President of the United States. From advanced communication systems to secure compartments, discover how Air Force One ensures the safety and security of the President while in transit. Watch this video to explore the intricate security details of this iconic aircraft. When we hear about Air Force One, we immediately think of it as the safest and most sophisticated aircraft in the world, as it is a distinguished symbol of the presidency and power of the United States of America. The idea of designating military aircraft to transport the president emerged in 1943 when Air Force officials became concerned about relying on commercial airlines to transport the president. The current presidential aircraft, known as Air Force One, with the military designation VC-25A, has three levels and is as tall as a six-story building. It is a custom-made Boeing 747-200B with 370 square meters of interior space, including a conference room, dining room, private quarters for the president, offices, a medical operations room, press area, and two food preparation galleys. This makes Air Force One the most expensive aircraft to operate, costing American taxpayers $210,000 per flight hour. Technically, the term Air Force One is used to describe any Air Force aircraft that transports the President, but since the mid-20th century, it has become common practice to refer to specific planes designated for transporting the Commander-in-Chief. It's no surprise to many that Air Force One is equipped with very advanced security features, but I assure you, you have no idea of the level of security we're talking about. Get comfortable and prepare to learn about 10 security systems and measures of Air Force One. The most logical way to bring down an aircraft of such size would be with an incredibly powerful weapon, like a missile. However, Air Force One has numerous systems that protect it against such weapons. It is known that Air Force One is equipped with active electronic countermeasures capable of interfering with enemy radar frequencies, as well as the countermeasure control module, CCM, or Infrared Countermeasure System, ICMS. Infrared is the type of guidance most missiles use to reach their target. Technically speaking, the system used on Air Force One is the ANALQ-204, produced by BAE Systems. These systems protect the plane from air-to-air -air and surface-to-air infrared missiles, such as manpads, which can be fired by a soldier on the ground. The plane is also equipped with chaff and flare dispensers. Chaff is used to divert radar-guided missiles, while flares are high-temperature heat sources ejected from the plane's dispensers to deceive the missile's heat-seeking system. An AIM-54 missile launch warning receiver installed in the tail is intended to inform and track missile threats, focusing on their ultraviolet escape signature. This receiver is also used in Special Operations warplanes like the MC-130H Combat Talon II. Almost no one knows that every Air Force One flight is classified as a military operation, requiring strict procedures throughout the boarding, flight, landing, and departure processes. The procedure usually involves the Marine One helicopter transporting the President from the White House to Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. The Air Force inspects the runway and planes and then transports the President's convoy to his superplane. Air Force One is maintained and operated by the Presidential Airlift Group, which is part of the White House Military Office. These are not private pilots or anyone outside the most discreet, important, and loyal military branches of the United States, whose sole purpose is to protect the President and members of Congress. The plane is entirely off-limits to almost everyone. Even many politicians on board are not allowed access to certain parts of the plane. Air Force One has a retractable staircase, so it does not need to rely on the airport staircase to disembark passengers. This ensures that the staircase the President descends on has not been tampered with. For the same reason, the plane also has its own luggage loader, so there is no possibility of unwanted or suspicious equipment being placed on board. It's not uncommon to know that Air Force One was designed to survive an imminent war, considering this plane can withstand the ravages of a nuclear weapon detonation. If, for some reason, a nuclear detonation occurred relatively close to the plane, the President of the United States would remain unharmed inside Air Force One. He can issue orders and strategies to manage the war waged on the ground from within. 
The plane's body is designed to survive any type of detonation thanks to these features. It has a wire mesh on the windows to prevent radiation, 238 kilometers of cable protected by special shielding to not be affected by the electromagnetic pulse generated by nuclear weapons and nuclear thermal shielding and fire countermeasures that can be deployed both inside and outside the aircraft. While many measures have been taken to prevent any unfortunate incident, the consequences of these measures not working 100% and the president potentially being injured have also been considered. For this reason, the aircraft has a fully equipped medical facility using the latest medical technology to be prepared for any medical issue. There is also a high-profile doctor on board to attend to the president and accompanying ministers. And when I say advanced equipment, I really mean advanced as it includes everything needed in an emergency, including a full pharmacy, an operating table, and an extra reserve of the president's blood type in a refrigerator. One of the best features of Air Force One is its ability to refuel in mid-air. Refueling means taking on fuel while in flight. The plane gets fuel from another tanker plane with an operator managing this transfer while the pilot actively controls the autopilot. The operator disconnects once the refueling is complete. Technically, Air Force One could stay in the air indefinitely, although this feature would only be needed in an emergency. Usually before takeoff, Air Force One always has enough fuel to reach its destination. This ensures that as long as it is not safe to land, Air Force One has the ability to keep the Commander-in-Chief safe and comfortable in the vastness of the skies. Communication between Air Force One and ground contacts is an easy and commonly targeted objective for attacks. To ensure the highest level of air-to-ground communication security, Air Force One has encryption and coding devices. Encrypted GPS signals help guarantee the authenticity of the information transmitted both from the ground to the plane and from the plane to the ground. Additionally, the President has the ability to communicate in all possible ways. Calls, video calls, video conferences, addressing the public, etc. Air Force One has the capability to fly at a speed of over 965 kilometers per hour, around 75% of Mach and the speed of sound at sea level, which is incredibly impressive considering its size and weight. Additionally, Air Force One flies high, reaching a maximum altitude of 45 to 100 feet, 13 to 746 meters, which is well above the usual altitude for commercial flights, which range around 30,000 feet, 91100 meters. According to reports, the F-16 fighter jets escorting the President's plane on September 11th had to ask the pilot of Air Force One, Colonel Martin Mann, to reduce speed because it was leaving them behind, outpacing fourth-generation fighter jets. The President is not alone when traveling on Air Force One. In addition to the pilots, ministers, doctors, and other personnel attending to the President, there are also individuals responsible for his personal security during boarding, flight, and disembarkation. The well-known Secret Service is usually in charge of the President's protection. These men are elite bodyguards who have trained for many years in various disciplines to deal with any type of threat. It is common to see that upon landing Air Force One at a destination, the first to disembark are members of the Secret Service, who, after a thorough and quick analysis, can give the green light for the President to exit the plane without complications. On certain occasions, the CAT, counter-assault team, accompanies the President. The CAT is a specialized tactical unit of the United States Secret Service that provides tactical support to the Presidential Protection Division, functioning like the Secret Service's Special Forces, Air Force. One has many features and technologies that cannot be noticed by an untrained eye, and even military agents find it difficult to identify them. This is what makes Air Force One the most feared and secretive non-military aircraft on the planet. You might wonder if Air Force One carries weapons and has the capacity to use them. There is no public information confirming this premise, but what is known is that it is not an easy plane to shoot down or affect. The windows are bulletproof, and the aircraft's composition likely includes some type of armor. This allows it to be a flying bunker that will hardly give in to any type of weapon or contingency. The countermeasures of Air Force One are fabulous, and we have mentioned many of them, but we sometimes forget that this plane is not alone. It has the support of the most powerful and numerous Air Force on the planet. 
The United States has about 1,800 combat and multi-row aircraft strategically distributed in military bases worldwide, providing protective coverage for the President in any corner of the globe and at any time of day. The F-35 and F-22 Raptors are the elite fifth-generation guardians of Air Force One who, in case of emergency, can arrive at its rescue within minutes. These fighter jets are armed to the teeth, operated by the most skilled and experienced pilots in the Air Force and can surpass the speed and avionics capabilities of any other enemy aircraft. That's all. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and activate that powerful notification bell so you don't miss any new videos.